In a significant boost to Russia's military capabilities, the Russian aerospace forces are set to introduce the modernized Tu-160M2 strategic bomber into service in 2025. This upgraded version of the iconic Tu-160, known as the White Swan in Russia and Blackjack by NATO, represents a major step forward in Russia's commitment to maintaining a strong and advanced air force. The Tu-160M2 is an enhanced version of the original Tu-160, a supersonic variable sweep wing bomber first introduced in the 1980s during the Soviet era. Designed to deliver both nuclear and conventional payloads over long distances, the Tu-160 has long been a symbol of Russia's strategic air power. The modernized Tu-160M2 builds on this legacy, incorporating cutting-edge technology to ensure it remains a formidable force in modern warfare. With its sleek design, powerful engines and advanced avionics, the Tu-160M2 is poised to strengthen Russia's nuclear triad and enhance its global military presence. The Tu-160M2 is not just a refurbished aircraft, it is practically a new machine. According to Russian officials, the bomber features upgraded systems that make it far superior to its predecessor. The aircraft is equipped with new Kuznetsov NK-3202 afterburning turbofan engines, which provide greater efficiency and power, allowing the bomber to achieve speeds up to Mach 2-2, 220 km per hour, and cover a range of 12-300 km without refueling. This extended range enables the Tu-160M2 to conduct long-range missions, reaching targets across the globe with ease. The bomber's avionics have also been overhauled, with modern radar, navigation, and communication systems that improve its precision and survivability in combat. The Tu-160M2 is designed to carry advanced weaponry, including the KHBD cruise missile, which boasts a range of up to 8,000 kilometers and enhanced capabilities to evade enemy air defenses. These upgrades make the bomber a versatile platform, capable of delivering devastating strikes while remaining difficult to detect or intercept. The aircraft's two internal weapon bays can carry up to 45,000 kilograms of ordnance, including up to 12 cruise missiles, making it one of the most heavily armed bombers in the world. The introduction of the Tu-160M2 comes at a critical time for Russia's defense strategy. President Putin emphasized that modernizing the armed forces is a top priority, with a particular focus on strengthening the nuclear triad, which includes land-based missiles, submarines, and strategic bombers, like the Tu-160M2. The bomber's ability to carry nuclear weapons makes it a key component of Russia's deterrent strategy ensuring the country's security in an increasingly complex global environment. In February 2024, President Putin visited the Kazan Aviation Plant, where he inspected four Tu-160M bombers, two of which were newly built, and two upgraded from older models. These aircraft, named Mintimer Shamyev, Ilya Muromets, Alexander Malachi, and Valentina Tereshkova showcase Russia's ability to blend modern technology with its rich aerospace heritage. The Kazan plant, a cornerstone of Russia's aviation industry, has been modernized to support the production of these advanced bombers, with plans to deliver 10 new 2-160M aircraft by 2027 under a 2018 contract worth 160 billion rubles, approximately $1.7 billion. The Tu-160M2's development reflects Russia's resilience in the face of challenges. Despite Western sanctions and the demands of ongoing military operations, Russia has successfully resumed production of the Tu-160M, 
using components from Soviet-era stockpiles and advanced manufacturing techniques. This achievement highlights the ingenuity and determination of Russia's defense industry, which has overcome significant obstacles to deliver a world-class strategic bomber. Reviving the TU-160 program has not been without difficulties. The original production line was halted in the 1990s, and restarting it required significant investment and innovation. The Kazan aviation plant faced setbacks, including legal issues and supply chain disruptions caused by sanctions, which limited access to foreign components. However, Russian engineers and manufacturers have adapted by digitizing design processes, restoring complex production techniques, like vacuum welding for titanium components, and developing domestic alternatives to imported technology. These efforts have ensured that the TU-160M2 meets modern standards while maintaining the reliability of the original design. The TU-160M2 program also serves as a bridge to Russia's next-generation bomber, the PAC-DA, which is expected to enter service around 2027. While the PAC-DA promises stealth capabilities and advanced technology, the TU-160M2 provides a proven and powerful platform to maintain Russia's strategic edge in the interim. The decision to modernize and expand the TU-160 fleet demonstrates Russia's pragmatic approach to defense, balancing immediate needs with long-term ambitions. The TU-160M2 is more than just a military asset, it is a symbol of Russia's technological prowess and national pride. Known as the White Swan for its graceful appearance, the bomber combines beauty with overwhelming power. Its ability to fly at supersonic speeds, carry massive payloads, and operate over vast distances makes it a unique asset in Russia's arsenal. The aircraft's global reach was demonstrated in 2010 when a Tu-160 flew 18,000 kilometers with mid-air refueling, showcasing its ability to project power far beyond Russia's borders. The Tu-160M2's entry into service in 2025 will enhance Russia's strategic aviation capabilities, reinforcing its position as a global military power. With plans to deliver four bombers in 2025, the Russian Aerospace Forces will have a total of 17 Tu-160 aircraft, including both modernized and newly built models. Each bomber can carry up to 12 cruise missiles, providing unmatched firepower for long-range missions. This modernized bomber combines cutting-edge technology with the proven design of the original Tu-160, ensuring that Russia remains a leader in strategic aviation. With its unmatched speed, range, and firepower, the Tu-160M2 will play a crucial role in safeguarding Russia's security and projecting its strength on the global stage. As the Kazan aviation plant continues to innovate and expand, the future looks bright for Russia's aerospace ambitions, with the Tu-160M2 leading the way as a symbol of power and progress.